boysenberry plant. How to grow bro boysenberry? So, this plant can grow as a vine, you, you can design it as a shrub. Uh, it's also known as boysenberries, that is just a plural. Uh, it's a cross human hybrid, a few uh, rubus species, and it's perennial disease. Uh, in warmer climate, it uh, might be evergreen, not every year, but uh, depend. And grow for the edible fruits and use as an edge plant. It can grow in a temperate, subtropical or Mediterranean climate and growing in hardiness zone from 6 to 11A. Uh, 11A is a little bit problematic, but can grow. Uh, if you would like to grow it, there is a link below, link in the right top side, and if you purchase, this is donation for this channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe, really help me to continue and create more videos. Uh, so the leaves color is green in hard shape. Uh, leaves uh, grow connected together, and there are two cultivars, one with thorn and one without. Uh, never tasted the one with without thorns, and uh, it's hard to get here. But uh, understood that it's the same taste. So if it is, don't grow the one with the thorn. It's vicious. Flowers color white, sometimes a little bit purplish, and the uh, fruit color are black. Uh, it's possible to eat them when they are red, uh, but it's really really sour. And it's actually a lot of little fruits that connected together. Uh, usually rubus. It's a lot of little fruits that connected together and create a ball shape or oval shape or eggshell uh, so what this plant require in order to grow so trellising and controlling if not it would be harder to pick up uh, especially when you have the thorns uh, as i said they are vicious and it's very very strong uh, and if you don't have it will be really really hard to harvest <coughs> pruning it's once a year a uh, better uh, and add fertilizer in the early spring, also put some mulch, organic matter, uh, it's important. You can start to grow it by a uh, plant, cutting, or even possible by seed. It's not hard, but I'm not sure that what you see is what you get. Uh, I think it's better to start from cutting, it's uh, easy to do so. Uh, usually to do it in the spring, uh, if you have frost, so after the last frost, uh, this is important. And you can just put it in water, switch the water every few days, keep high humidity, it will work. Another option to put it on the soil or just bending the stems on the soil, cover it with soil, keep it moist, and it will grow roots. It's very easy to do, so don't be afraid to do it. Um, planting season is from the winter until the summer in a zone of 10B+, better not in the summer. Uh, when you plant it, better to have to dig bigger hole to throw a lot of organic matters and then just put the plants. Major pests are aphids, uh, red red berry mites, and pruning season. It's in the autumn uh, or the winter. Uh, also possible to prune it directly after the fruits. Uh, a lot of people do it. It's not must. Usually pruning uh, it depend where you grow it because if you grow it in hard in a zone of uh, 10b plus until 11 so it means that probably you have really really hot summer and in really hot summer especially in the heat waves it's make a lot of problems for the fruits are burning and you are not really enjoying from the fruits and this is really major problem and except this uh, when you grow it uh, so in in this kind of condition better to uh, not really to prune it, to let it a lot of hidden place for the fruits and when the fruit will grow in the shade it will be protected by, by the heat wave but in a colder area without heat waves uh, in the spring better uh, to take care that each uh, stems will get enough light the moment that they get enough light you will have better fruits the height of the plant will be from 2 to 5 meters, uh, but you need to let it something to climb on it. If not, it will just uh, crawl on the, on the soil, on the ground. It means 6 to 15 feet. Uh, it can be bigger, but I better keep it uh, smaller, especially if you have, uh, let's say, uh, spines for this uh, cultivars that you choose, or even if it's, uh, 
you need to understand when you pick up the fruits better to pick up the when they are fully ready and because it's not a industrial uh, pickup at least uh, probably will be won't be uh, it's something that you need to to know that it's just easier to check every day that if it's ready just to pick it up and uh, not uh, to go on a letter or something that it will be really elevated and it will be hard to check uh, the fruits every day in the right condition it will be fast growing plants that require between average to big amount of water light condition it's full sun uh, in temperature above 40 celsius it's been 104 fahrenheit need to protect the fruit from the sun and if not the fruit will be burned just be aware that uh, grow it in a little bit less than full sun will take care of it like uh, for example uh, i grow it uh, it's actually move whatever it wants because i really like the fruits so i don't really contain the growth but i have places that are with a lot of shade and it's bare fruits less uh, but in hot summer days you still have good fruits or actually hot spring uh, so to grow it uh, in a container it's not a problem usually take, uh, take a container of 25 liter it will be minimum don't leave a lot of stems when you grow it in the container you need to know that uh, it's very uh, grow very fast this plant and it's the moment that will be overcrowded it will kill uh, it won't let the it will the plants will just kill itself slowly and you won't get enough fruits. This is why you need to leave like uh, two two stems, and just get rid of all the others. Uh, possible also to grow it in a ten liter. Ten liter it mean uh, two gallons. Twenty five mean five gallons. Uh, except this, uh, the soil should be uh, rich soil with a lot of minerals. Even. Uh, slightly acid soil will be okay uh, put hummus organic matter and fertilizer it's not in the soil you don't have enough fertilizer probably uh, so just add some fertilizers uh, you can use potting mix or pit soil with perlite it will be okay and again every few years you need to switch the soil and uh, don't let too many plants to grow in the same container it will be you won't have enough fruits and it will be not good Blooming season, it's in the spring, and uh, the edible fruits uh, season, it will be in the spring to the summer, in a hardness zone of 10b to 11, probably will be in the spring, uh, even in the mid of the spring, uh, colder the area will be, it will go into the summer. Major pests are the birds, and uh, you can eat it raw to make cakes, cook to cook it. Uh, juice, cookies even, ice creams and uh, there isn't special requirement on the fruits don't forget that if you have really hot days and you have fruits better to add a lot of water in those days and uh, if you have a lot of birds and this is a major problem uh, pick up the fruit before fully ripen uh, why it's important? at least you will enjoy the fruits and wait uh, indoors that it will be enough uh, ready if you want to grow it from seeds uh, just general information do it in the spring high humidity full sun uh, possible in half shade and moist soil um, it's take usually between two to four months to germinate and be aware that uh, it's need a little bit uh, chill hours before better two three weeks before uh, at least minimum and uh, better even above one month uh, keep it in the refrigerator it will germinate uh, more information check in growplants.org how to grow boysenberry from seeds except this it's easy plant to grow and if you have the option don't grow the one with this with the thorns they are vicious uh, it's really hurt and this is a really really a problem especially when you try to pick up or even to prune it it's it's prevent you even access for other kind of plants uh, but if you want edge plant this is a really good edge plant because it's prevent people to pick it up easily and also to enter in your garden so it depends for what you need it and the moment that uh, you have this plant you will enjoy the fruits uh, they don't have uh, after taste like other kind of rubus and uh, they are very sweet and pleasant taste uh, one last thing 
Uh, this is very aggressive plant and it's you put it in one location in the garden even in a container it's it's will might move to another location uh, so in order to stop it just don't let it root uh, don't let it grow so just contain it that it won't pass the place that you want even if there, if there is fruit the moment that you leave it it just start to run in the garden and this is crazy if you like the fruit of course it's nice and uh, very good, but when you have other trees, this is, might be a problem. That's all from growplants.org. Don't forget to subscribe, visit our website, and of course, if you have any question, just ask. You have here links about more videos, some list, subscribe, and of course, purchase a plant, and this is donation for our channel. I hope you enjoy, and come visit us again.